All right, so hello. Please just give me a thumbs up uh, just to let me know that you guys are already in front of your computer. Three, four, what about the others? Good. All right. So my bad. Uh, what we did is uh, not correct. Okay. Because what we have solved a while ago is the uh, total current that is flowing on the entire circuit, which is really true. You know, it's 4.2 amps. However, uh, what I'm, uh, I've mentioned a while ago, this is where we are solving for the, uh, uh, the current, the IN. Okay, or the northern current. And in order for us to get the uh, current that is flowing in here, we have to apply KCL, okay, not KVL, because if, if it's KVL, then we are considering everything uh, that is flowing on the series resistance, okay, including the voltages. But uh, in here, since we have node uh, A and B right here, we have to apply KCL in order for us to get the uh, current that is flowing right here, and then the current that is flowing right here, and then once combined, it will give us uh, 14 amps. Okay, so in order for us to do that one, okay, so this is incorrect. Okay, this one is uh, by using KCL, okay, not KVL. This is our IN. Okay, so let me just replace this one. So in solving for IN, we have to get KCL, okay? So again, in here we have, uh, let's just say that this one is your uh, I1, and then this is your I3, which is equal with your IN, okay? So IN is equal to I1 plus uh, I3, okay? So both of those uh, will collide with each other and then will be added as one, which is equal with our uh, IN. All right, so in order for us to get the uh, I sub one, we can apply uh, Ohm's law. The formula I is equal to V divided by R. So in here, V is 28 and then uh, R1 is four. So solving for I1. So we need to get, we have the V1 and then the R1. 28 divided by 4. So 28 divided by 4 is 7. So 7 amps. And then for the uh, I sub 3, okay, we need to have the V3 divided by R3. So V3 is 7 volts. And then uh, R3 is 1 ohm. So 7 divided by 1 is 7. So this is now equal to seven amps, all right? So from here, we can now solve for the IN. So IN is equal to I1, which is seven amps, plus uh, I3, which is again seven amps. So seven plus seven is 14 uh, amps, okay? So my bad for that. So again, this is where we are solving for the IN. All right, so uh, I hope we are clear with uh, IN. So anyone who has a question so far? Okay, so about uh, giving me a thumbs up if you were able to uh, follow on how did we get this uh, I N right here. Okay. Only two, only three. Okay. So sorry, pa ano dito ko yung I N. So in here, using K C L. All right. So we have a current flow. Uh, going in for this node right here, node A, and then going in that is uh, flowing on uh, node A. 
So again, if it's going in, it's positive. And then if it's going out, it's negative. So we have uh, IN going out. So that is why we have this formula right here. Well, originally, this will give us a uh, expression. So I1 plus I3 minus uh, IN is equal to zero. So I've just transposed this IN right here on the uh, other side, which will give us this expression right here. Okay. Then after that, is solve for the uh, individual currents. So this is the I1 right here. And this is the I3 right here. So once you have the value of I1 and I3, then you can now solve for the value of uh, I n, which is this one. So 7 plus 7 is 14 amps. OK. So I hope I was able to answer your question, Mr. John David. OK, great. What about the others? Do you guys have a question before we proceed to the uh, Northern Saki Valence circuit? Okay, so, oops. so I guess none anymore. Then uh, we can now, oops. We can now replace this one. So this is not 4.2. But this one is 14 amps, okay? And then in here, this is not uh, 2.3982. So replacing this 4.2 right here into 14, 14 amps. So let me just remove this one again. And after that, Let's try to resolve this one. 14 times 0 0.571 will give us 7.994, or, or we could just say that this is uh, 8 volts. Okay. So I just made it 8 volts because our final answer in here is I think it's 8 volts. Where is that one? So it's uh, uh, 8 volts. So yeah, this is similar uh, values. 14 ohms, 0 0.8, and then um, 2 ohms. Then you can now find uh, the unknowns, like uh, the individual currents that is flowing on the R Norton, R load, and then what is the total current, and then the uh, individual resistance, and then the final uh, total resistance, and then there uh, uh, final uh, voltages across uh, that component. Okay. So yeah, that's how to solve uh, for the uh, unknowns using uh, Norton's theorem. So do you guys have a question so far? Question, question. Hello, hello. Were you guys still around? All right, so four, so at least four or five. Anyway, all right, so I hope uh, you guys uh, got the idea, okay? I'm not expecting you guys to uh, get this one as soon as possible. So we'll just go back and read the explanation. So I didn't uh, read those anymore. So yeah, because you can uh, go back right here and then 
read back this one again. Okay, I just made my own uh, explanation and then uh, have our own solution. Anyway, so this is uh, just a review. So again, uh, Norton Serum is a way to reduce network to an equivalent circuit composed of a single current source, which composed of a parallel uh, resistance and then a parallel uh, load. So in finding the Norton uh, equivalent circuit, you have to find the Norton source by removing the load resistors. And then after that, uh, get the Norton resistance by removing all power sources. So again, you have a short circuit for the voltage and then uh, uh, open circuit for the currents. Okay. And then once you're done with those uh, two steps, then you can now uh, transform that one into Norton equivalent circuit. And then you can now analyze voltage and then find uh, the unknowns that you are looking for. Okay. So in here, we just have another example. So this one came from, uh, uh, this one, the first example right here came from uh, all about circuits. And this one came from uh, electronic tutorials, I guess. So yeah, just the same uh, website where I've got the second example on the tab in Instagram. So in here, we have the same example. And then we'll try to solve this one using uh, Norton's uh, theorem. So again, we have the short circuit, this RL right here. And then after that, you can now uh, find the uh, Norton's resistance. Again, it's by short uh, circuit, uh, circuiting the uh, voltage sources. So in here, it will give us, uh, in here, uh, he tried to solve for the uh, Norton's current first, but out of those two, I will, I will be fine. Okay, so in here, I just solve for the uh, I Norton, okay, or the current Norton. So again, we can apply uh, ohms right here. So 10 divided by 10 will give us one amp flowing right here. And then 20 divided by 20 will give us, uh, again, another one amp that is flowing right here. So one plus one is equal to two amps. So this is already our uh, I Norton. Okay. So as simple as that, since uh, the value is uh, super easy to uh, calculate. Okay, then after that, you can now solve for the uh, resistance, uh, Norton's resistance, just by removing the RL and then uh, replacing the voltage sources by you know putting short circuit. So 10 times 20 is uh, 200 divided by uh, 30 will give us 6.67 ohms. So once you're done in getting the uh, R total, I mean the uh, Norton's resistance and then the current uh, or Norton's current, then you can now transform that one into this kind of circuit. Okay, we have the I Norton and then the R Norton. Okay, again, just a different uh, naming. So in here we have IS and then in here we have RS, but they are the uh, Norton's current and then the uh, Norton's resistance. And then from there, we can now uh, bring back the RL and then solve for the total resistance and then solve for the uh, voltage, uh, total voltage uh, across AB, okay? So which, uh, ever that, whichever uh, voltage that is flowing right here is the same with the uh, R, RS since they are in parallel connection. So it will give us 11.44 uh, uh, volts. And yeah, so then the current flowing uh, in the 40 ohms load resistance can be found as 0 0.286 amps. We have the same result a while ago. What is our current that we have solved? So 4.2 ohms right here. And then the VDH. I think we have a total voltage of 0 point something a while ago. Anyway, so yeah. That is a different uh, circuit. That is the first example. So there's no way that they are the same. Okay, so yeah, maybe my bad. So in here, the total current is 0 0.286 amps, okay, after having this one. So yeah, uh, that's it uh, for this uh, example. So again, we have another uh, tutorial right here, which can be found on YouTube. 
So this is the English version and then this is the Tagalog version. Okay, so again, uh, you can choose any of those two. And if you cannot uh, understand this uh, English video example, you might want to uh, check the Tagalog video example. And then here's just the summary. Again, same process. Let's remove the RL and then find the RS and then the IS. And then after finding the RS and IS or the uh, R Norton and then the uh, I Norton, you cannot transform that one into a uh, Norton's equivalent circuit. And then you can now find the current that is flowing through the load resistance or the uh, any other unknowns, okay? The total voltage, the voltage drops, etc., etc. Okay. And what else? So here's others, uh, other infos about Norton theorem. So this is just another source which came from circuitloop.com. Okay. So if uh, if you want, you can visit this one also to. Uh, learn a different method, okay, or you know, uh, to enhance more your uh, understanding when it comes to uh, Norton's theorem. So for my references, so uh, the first example came from All About Circuits, and then the second example came from Electronics Tutorials, and then here are the videos. So this first one right here, uh, I guess, is the uh, English video tutorial, and then the uh, next one right here is the Tagalog uh, tutorial. So yeah, that's it for the uh, Norton's theorem. And if that is not enough, you can always check uh, the practice exercises right here. Okay, so you can visit uh, this one right here, or this one, or this one, or this one. Okay, so this will give you the solution and then the answers. Okay, so I, I think Sun Foundry is one of the very good website which gives you the uh, option to choose, okay? And we'll give you the explanation. Oops. So you have to log in, okay? And after that, you can access to our uh, website. Okay, so here's the solution, and then another example, and then here's the, oops, uh, solution. Oh, what's happening? Anyway, so yeah. We have a lot of examples uh, in here. So if that is not enough, then uh, you might want to check uh, other websites, which gives uh, you know the example and then a solution at the same time. And then uh, for your Tevin squeeze and the Norton theorem. So let me just check your quizzes. So we have. Okay, so I will set the deadline for this one, uh, this coming maybe Monday or this coming Thursday. Okay, meet then, so you guys, uh, you guys can have plenty of time to study more about Tevin theorem and then Northern theorem. And then again, uh, I'm not sure if we can meet this coming Thursday. So uh, I'll just update you guys if uh, we will meet this coming Thursday. So for now, uh, just focus in studying the model seven and eight. And also just like uh, what I mentioned a while ago, uh, I'll put here another uh, activity, which is an additional points for your uh, midterm exam score, because most of you uh, get a low score. All right, so that's it for today. So any other questions so far that you guys would like to ask? Hello, hello. Questions or clarifications? Or if none, uh, just give me a thumbs up so that I know that everything is good and clear. Okay. So if ever that you have clarifications in the future, you know, like uh, uh, 
there are parts that is not clear on this module so feel free to consult me and then let me know that you know you're having a hard time in uh, understanding that one so we can have a, a short tutorial maybe short video tutorial so short zoom meeting so that i can explain to you uh, how uh, did we get that uh, value all right so for now uh that's it for the week four and then we'll just talk about the uh, another two modules uh, i'm not sure maybe this coming thursday or if not uh, next week uh, module nine and ten all right okay so if you guys don't have a question anymore then uh you guys may know go and thank you guys for coming Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tugo.